Quite possibly one of the most, if not the most popular superhero, Spider-Man, has his third film coming soon, and there are a lot of characters to jam pack into a two-hour movie, but Marvel may be secretly filming the fourth film back-to-back, -back. and this makes a lot of sense. Let's explain why. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Animated Apparel Company YouTube channel. I'm your resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and today I want to talk about some more news regarding Spider-Man 3. And if you missed it just a few weeks ago, I did do a video talking about a lot of upcoming things that could be potentially happening in Spider-Man 3. And since that video, some other things in it have been confirmed. Others are still rumors, but I recommend going and checking out that video as well. And as I said, Spider-Man 3 and 4 potentially may be filming back to back secretly. And although it is a rumor, it makes a lot of sense because not only is it done before by Marvel, but it even makes more sense to make it a part one in part two. Now the reason why filming these movies back to back makes a lot of sense and making a two part film is the cast is huge, it includes not only the stars from we know in the MCU, but also from series past, including Jamie Foxx, Andrew Garfield, Kirsten Dunst, and potentially Tobey Maguire and Emma Stone. The other reason why it makes so much sense to have these movies take place back to back or be filmed back to back and then make it two parts is the story will be so complex. It was a little bit easier with Spider-Verse and able to get all of these characters, the versions of Spider-Man together, but now doing in live action potentially, it might be a little bit more difficult. Obviously the focus will be on Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but if a multiverse is going to be incorporated in the previous Spider-Man come back in a very Spider-Verse way, they will all need a good reason to come back and all need their time to shine. Not just Peter needing backup and Doctor Strange bringing in other Spider-Men to fight villains from their own franchises, if they try to do something like that, this movie would reach three or even four hours in runtime alone. To me, it makes sense to make Spider-Man 3 be the set piece for Spider-Man 4, even possibly leaving it on a cliffhanger where Doctor Strange starts opening up some portals for the other Spider-Man to come through. Then Spider-Man 4 can come roughly about a year later if they're filming back to back and just allow it to be the action set piece that we all want to see with these characters fighting side by side, having the return of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire fighting alongside Tom Holland, that would just be pure awesome. And again, they already did do this with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, filming them back to back, and it was a massive success. So I see no problem with them attempting something of this caliber again. But what do you guys think? Do you think they should make this a two-part film? Do you think that they should just worry about the third one and then potentially move on to a fourth one or beyond? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from Joey, Joe's Marie, or the rest of the AAC team. And be sure to check out AnimeApparelCompany.com for all your nerdy needs, t-shirts, hoodies, backpacks, keychains, hats, whatever your nerdy heart may desire, and be sure to use the code Aaron20 at checkout to get 20% off your order. But those are my thoughts. Other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me once again on the Anime Apparel Company YouTube channel. Thank you so much for having me, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.